What's up guys, it's your boy Jamaica here, coming at you with an Iconic Masters Draft. Yes, Iconic Masters Draft. Uh, if you didn't know, uh, Iconic Masters is one of the uh, supplemental sets that Wizards puts out just to flood the market with like modern, legacy, or even vintage staples. So it's it's a way to like not reprint these certain things that would be too crazy for standard. So you got things like, you know, Mags of the Moon. I'm just reading off random cards. Mindstone, Fisher's Bobble. Uh, Essential Visions, uh, Cryptic Command, I think Channels in this set. Like, there's, like, a lot of just, like, random cards. But it makes for a really fun uh, draft set. Actually, I've done about five drafts. I actually have only one trophy. It was actually my first draft. Um, there's a lot of different archetypes. It's been a lot of fun. I've had a lot of fun just, like, building random wonky decks. My last deck was not very good. I went, uh, <laughs> I did not do very well. But, yeah, I uh, just want to do a, a quick recording of this. I'm going to do one big take. So if you want to just like skip from round to round, just click the, um, click the hyperlinks below. But they'll be in the comment section of this YouTube video that I'm making. Um, but yeah, um, just random archetypes I've done. I think the first one I did was like blue-white defenders. So I, I had triple doorkeeper. I just milled my, most of my opponents out. Um, I built like black-white, like sanguine bond. <laughs> that was been fun. Uh, dragons, black red dragons. I think there's a big like dragons theme going on um other themes i've seen like you know uh, unleashed decks it's like random like red white prowess i've seen that it's kind of cool uh just like blue white control i've done that too it's an okay there's like a lot of different things you can do i think there's like there are like some force themes sort of but for the most part you can kind of just like branch off to whatever you want which is a lot of fun i have a lot of fun uh just building random things so i just kind of let the packs guide me i don't really have an idea of what i really want to do i just Open open some packs and see what happens. So I'm gonna jump right in it. Burn some more tickets here. But I I love these like supplemental drafts. It's a lot of fun. Just kind of cut through. Just like playing, you know, other like uh, constructed formats, what whatnot. If you didn't see it on my YouTube, it's also like I've done like a ton of like modern masters drafts. That's like my favorite, one of my favorite formats. Iconic Masters has also delivered my fun my fun level as well. All right, get it going. Let's see, oh, and I'm a I'm a money drafter through and through. By the way, <laughs> um, what is this? Per creature attacks chain player thing. Um, that's good with like Outlast stuff. Lord of the Pit is just too expensive for me. Good. And these cards are actually like really impressive. To me, like there's mana leak, mind stones, like mind stones, pretty good just to like not do anything. Um, Karoo land, bounce land, curse of predation, creature attacks, chain to player. I like feeling that. I think I'll just take the mind stone just to like stay open. The next best card to be like you know, this, but I haven't really played like green white, I don't know what that really entails. Bunch of dudes. I mean, if I wanted to be a bunch of dudes deck, I'd play this. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the Mind Stone. Because I don't have anything else. Um. Uh, Mod Qual is pretty good. It involves like blue black. Sarah Angel is just, you know, Sarah Angel. There's a Killed Fiend. Or like the Prowess X. I kinda wanna like try that. I kinda wanted to try this or just play the Sarah Angel. Sarah Angel. It'll probably leave me. Sarah Angel's good. <laughs> it's a timeless card. It's always good. I think I'll just take that, actually. Yeah, my curse is still there, so <laughs> I'm like, still thinking about it. But the Kill Fiend is a lot of fun. If I get in sort of like a prowess deck. I haven't been beaten by this. Yeah, I kind of want to go fast, actually. I want to I I try the Kill Fiend. Let's just build a prowess deck. Try to build a prowess. Warland Marauder. Uh, answer EG. I would have the best blue white deck. <laughs> now we're going in. I'm just, just trying to build like an ag aggressive sort of I want to attack deck after passing the Curse of Predation. I like Dwarf. Tiny Mage is pretty sick. Well, Draconicor is very good. Um, Guardian Idol is okay. One of these two. Um, I actually like the Roar. I like removal spells over just like, but the the creature is also very good too. We'll get one back. And I am like taking all the red cards. I don't have to be like red white. 
be probably like red blue or something like that. That's okay. Guidance strikes pretty good. Heat ray actually. I think I'm taking the heat ray. I'm really annoyed. I'm always annoyed by Heat Ray being a common, but it is what it is. Can I just play mono red? I don't want to do that. I definitely don't want to be there. I don't want to be in that position when I'm playing mono red. Yeah, he raises really annoying. <laughs> it's such an annoying card to play around. It's just like, you're really hard. <laughs> Alright, there's Guidance Strike, Infantry Veteran. I think I'll take the Guidance Strike. It's really good with the Kiln Fiend. And Borland Marauder. Draw the card. It just randomly draws a card. It's so sick. Another Marauder. There's the Dragon Theme, the Blade Wing Risen, and the Thrall together, but. It's really, it's a really slow deck, I found. Even the two drop. I like to see my aggro decks, just two drops galore. Not really like any great one drop that I've noticed. Maybe Jason's Phantasm here, like the mill deck. Pretty decent for a one drop. Yeah, I'm looking for some more kill teams. Any like Seeker of the Ways, uh, the three, the three mana two two prowess vigilance guy. He's pretty good. Um, and more kill teams, obviously. <laughs> Not the kill teams. Okay. Uh, coordinated salt, fury charm, which could be okay. I like coordinated salt a lot. It kind of leads to a lot of dumb blowouts. I've been blown up by this card for sure. First strike is just. E in any sort of like trade situation. Let's get two is better, but there's also the monk. I think I'm gonna take this just because it's the uncommon and it's really good. I could be mono red too. I need more creatures. I have too many spells. I need just need creatures at some point. I need to just take more creatures. <laughs> but the vigilance, I mean, the, vigil the dragon bell monks, they come late. I mean, they'll always come later. I would just take like the good spells and then just like fill my deck with the random creatures after. Because you know, or you can get like stuff like the elementals or, um, just stuff. You can just fill your deck with stuff. You know, <laughs> it would be like supplemental drafts. Every, most creatures are pretty good. They're not just like filler, like two vanilla tutus. You know, the vanilla tutus just do something every now and then because it's like a, it's a custom set. We can just do what we want. There really isn't, let me think of it, there really isn't like vanilla stuff. I'm gonna take the T1 here. The Outlast. Outlast is like another deck I wanted to try. Just kind of like, I don't know what colors that'd be. It'd probably like green white. I think green makes counters too. Not 100% of that. I actually haven't drafted any green deck. <laughs> now that I think about it, I have not drafted a single green deck out of this set. Not easy being green. I need all the kill things I can get. Guard duty is a pseudo removal spell. <laughs> pseudo removal spell, but not really. Put that on the side. Zorius Charm is also a big blowout. Ooh, I have my pick here. Um, Forge Tender can't really. It's not good for me. <laughs> I'll just take the Stalwart Haven. A Flyer, Renown. I have to scoff at blocks sometimes. Yeah, the four tender, I actually like playing four tender, but not in red, obviously not with the red deck, with all the four data assaults I have. Ooh, another guy to strike. That'd be nice. I need more, I need some creatures, so. I think the next pack I'll probably dedicate to taking mostly creatures and removal spells. The veteran, welcome to the team. He's a fine dude. He's a fine one drop, I think. Like, veteran into like marauders. Seems alright, you know. Look at clock. Or all playable cards. 
I wasn't playing as Mindstone. I'll probably play the Mindstone. I don't know if this is our first pickable card, but I did do it, so I mean, it is now, right? <laughs> I think it is first pickable, really. I don't. I don't. It keeps you open to things. You'll say. We'll say. Um, I guess I'm. T I mean, not really good for the curve, but I mean, it is a big dragon that does something cool. Otherwise, it's like Draconic War. That's pretty much my picks. Like, um, um Halberger. All right, like whatever. You'll see, he's just a big idiot. I mean, <laughs> also Doom Traveler, he's okay, but I think I'm gonna take the Yose. He's just good. Sometimes in these drafts, because like these are all like rares, like you'll just fade to another dragon. Oh, just someone will just have a dragon, so you need a dragon to fight your dragons. Yose's coming in. Ooh, Angelica Court. Angelica Court would be so good if I had um, uh, survival caches. Also, Seeker, Gutter Snipe, Gladium Mirror. These are all really good cards. I kind of like the Gutter Snipe over the Seeker. One, because it's an uncommon. Two, because I do have a lot of spells. I can just start chaining off spells and I'm not even attacking. Delta Core is really strong, though, but I don't have a life gain theme just yet. This is more like black white, I would say, or. If I had something like a uh, Student of Wichita, I like. Whenever you cast an creature spell, you gain two life, that sort of thing. But I'm not there at all, so I'm thinking the gutter snipe over the seeker. I might seekers are common now, so you, you see more of those when you see gutter snipes. Great teachers of Kree is pretty good. There's a survival cache to go with the uh, thing. Doom Traveler, Welp. Pretty good. Kind of like overrun with rebound. <laughs> kind of. Survival cache is not bad either. You, te you tend to have more life than them, so. I think I think survival cache. No, no. I'm going to take Great Truth Decree. Kind of as a kill condition, in a sense. I'm still passing creatures here. Um, this is a Dragon Bell Monk. I know this is a little expensive for this deck. Although it is good, I, I I think this card is actually pretty good. It does stop a lot of like interesting things. I don't think the Dragon Spell Monk. For the curve, consideration for the curve here. The Seeker, probably just slamming this. Mass Components, I've drafted plenty of Mass Components decks and they're pretty good. They're all pretty good. But Seeker is really good. Get all the prowess dudes in here. The LC might be too expensive for my deck, but I think it's just I think it's still good enough to play. Kiln Fiend, Seeker. I'm gonna take the Kiln Fiend here. Hopefully the wheel one of the, actually it could wheel one of these cards. Pretty good pack actually for me. Take the Kiln Fiend. Maybe people don't play this. I mean, that's a pretty reasonable deck so far. Sometimes people just don't like the aggro deck. Sometimes it's like, I think it's like day five or day four. This came out Friday, so Monday. So it's like day like three or four. People start just like doing the wonky decks really quickly. I have my choice here. Disenchant, Theory Charm, good for Trample or Survival Cash. I think it's the Fury Charm. It only gives Trample. Maybe Survival Cash is better, just to kind of like draw cards. And it has Rebound, and I'll probably have more life than my opponent. It's probably a big fan of... Well, Trample's pretty good, but like if I have a Trample first strike combo, it's... Trumpet Blast. I had a funny game, um, I was playing against this style of deck, and my opponent just kept pre-combat casting Trumpet Blasts. <laughs> And then attacking and wondering why his creatures weren't getting pumped. And the last point of damage he did, he actually did it right. He did turn less right. So. Yeah. <laughs> Another sort of overrun effect. Go to go with the great teacher. It was just so funny him. He did it twice. He actually did it twice. <laughs> he like trump blast. Yeah, attack. And if he did it any time before that, I would have lost. But it gave me like so many outs. It was just really funny. Um I like the furnace well over the uh, whole burger here. Even though they kind of come out at the same time. Like, what do you. 
Oh, it's like turn two or three. It's really bad, but first off, it's always kind of good. Whenever you get it. And it goes with like Draconic Lore. I do need a dragon. All pluses there. I need a cord. I think it will take it. Maybe like a sideboard. It's really hard to like kind of play with. You don't have much of survival caches, and like I said, the uh, the guy that gains you life. Play a bunch of radiant fountains. It's it's really hard to play around, or play uh build around rather, but it is good. <laughs> when it, when you can get it going, it is good, but it's kind of, kind of hard to get going. Okay, here's a survival cache of the radiant fountain. Like I said, there's also doom traveler. Kind of like cash actually. Maybe I could play the Accord now. The Cash. Maybe I'm just like doing all the themes. All the themes. I'm playing too many cards now. Side. Mark Mandy for sideboards. Pretty good. I might just. I'll keep that in here for now, but I might just cut all of those. <laughs> well, maybe not all the caches. The caches are still pretty good. Ooh, I'm going to take a Hammerhand. Or Surreal Memoir. I like Hammerhand. That's just cheaper. It's a cheaper effect, and it does something cool. It pumps and it like gives haste. Archangel of Thune. Well, that's good with the life gaining. Well, that's good. Jeez, I think I have to take that over the over a kill team. But yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, now I can't cut struggle cash. I don't know about Arc uh, Angelica Cord though. I think I can cut that. Let's see. I'll just put it over here. But okay. I think he survival caches like pick what was it, like seven and like thirteen or something like that. <laughs> Fury Angel? No, don't do this. Come on. Give me all the rares. There's also Stagger Shock. There's so many good cards in this pack. Stagger Shock, Fury Angel Seeker. Fury Angel's really strong. It's just like really hard to beat, especially with all my like I have a Trumpet Blast and the Great Teacher's Decree. Yeah. Right. Danger of too many awesome things. Um, well, there's stuff here. Borland Marauder, another guide to strike. A lot of stuff here. Abzan Battle Priest. I don't have a lot of like counter stuff. Oh, wait, I do. <laughs> well, which one's better though? Would I have like Evasion or Lifelink? I think the Abzan Founders is better in a nutshell. Oh, well, in a nutshell. Uh,. <laughs> I'm just trying to, um, I think I like, I think I like the Falconer, although because I have this, it's a little better, but I think the Falconer, I think I have more of a chance to wield this than this. I think I'll take the Falconer, and it's lower on the curve. I'm not sure if I'll even play the Falconer, but it is good with this. I get that down, then like randomly gain life. So now I want to take like at least one or two Radiant Fountains. So then I'm kind of a way to gain life. Is there a cutting card now? This is why I like Mindstone because I have the ramp of these things. It's a good pack. Another good pack. Rift Bolts, Blinding Mage, Angel of Mercy. Now I'm just like sub life gain theme. I think I'm taking the Rift Bolt though. It's, I don't have a, actually a ton of removal. I just have like bricks. It's just a little more solid than a uh, blind mage. Well, blind mage is pretty good. I think I'm taking the rift bolt. It also goes to the face. Oh my god! I have like I have to make a lot of cuts. I I start off one way, just being aggro, and all of a sudden I have this like sick mid range kind of strategy. This is gonna be a hard one. I don't know. It's it's weird. It's like everything is coming into place, sort of, but. Now I have like a lot of options. I'm never in a situation where I'm actually like focused, focused on like a thief. Well, I'm actually not really that focused. Like half of the spells are like prowess spells, half the spells are like life gain type spells. But hey, man, I open Archangel, dude. <laughs> I have to play it. It's a bad baby angel. How do they do that? The original thing is really sick. Um, with the uh kind of kill and fiend kind of style. And it's like save your creatures. I think it's like really good. So really, it's actually a, it's actually a really dumb card. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, I got a lot. Of, I got a lot of decisions to make about this deck. <laughs> Latin six. Uh, kill feed number three or secret away number two. Now that I am more lifelink oriented, I think the seeker is a little better. And I think I can get this kill feed back, maybe. So I'll, I'll take the seeker for now. Hopefully, we get the kill feed back, or just get another one. The life gain is strong here. The life gain prowess, huh? I think I'm playing for a swell. Start making some cuts now. It's okay. He's not like the best two drop. I have other better two drops. Right here. Probably the stalwart avens for bad here. Other side I still like. The infantry veteran. Actually cutting all creatures when I'm saying I need more. Oh, I'll cut some dog. Second. Everything's pretty good. Everything's actually really good. But I probably have to cut it. Oh, it's it's good. It gives haste. Maybe cut like one of these guided strikes. Yeah, I have a bunch of survival caches, so like, I'm I'm good at drawing cards. And I have a bunch of coordinated salts as well. It'll be tough. That's gonna be like a tough decision. I probably have to cut one of these big things. Ooh, Radiant Fountain. Emerg another Emergence Gate. Another Hammer Hand. I want cheap spells. I think Emergence Gate is probably just the best, though. It's just so good with a like, Kiln Fiend. You just kind of keep attacking. It saves my guys. Cut all these guys, right? I think. I had to cut a three. Like Trumpet Blast or Great Teacher Three? A trumpet blast. And I want all the rebound spells for like things like gutter snipe. Third emergence gate. I don't think I take three. Angel Mercy's okay. Another Angelic Accord too. It's actually kind of sick that if I have two. I can like play like a mid-range game. I think I take it. Yeah, I'll just take this. I guess I want to like switch switch roles here. I'm gonna make like one more cut. It's got to be a non-creature. It could be the Mind Stone, actually. The Mind Stone's like the least impressive card. The Dragon Bell Monk, their Hammer Hand. I think I can take the Hammer Hand. I actually am gonna play these. I'm gonna cut this Mind. It's, it's, I do have a high curve, kind of, but it's just like the least impressive card. It only triggers like Prowess, it only really triggers the like, Kill and Fiend. Got one more card. I probably use one of these Hammer Hands, to be honest with you, even though I did take it. Look at this. I think they are good. I could be wrong at Great Teachers. Of Little Mercy, okay. Helps the, uh, Sideboard plan that I kind of have for many voice. All right, got to make one more cut. Has me a non creature spell. I like Great Teacher's Creed a lot just for because I do have a go wide sort of a look. I have a lot of spells, honestly. I think I should play more creatures. I feel like I should be playing a lot more creatures. Like, I can just, like, cut the hammer hands and just play, like... I cut the hammer hands, and then I just play a bunch more creatures. Because I don't really care about blocking. I think creatures are good at attacking through things. I was these giant strings back in the day. I could be wrong in like cutting the guided strikes for like survival caches. I mean, Archangel is pretty good. I think I do want as many like first strike things. Yeah, okay, let me cut the hammer hands. Um, 
I don't shove more two drops in here though. Like even though like the and the bond thing it, it is a two drop. I have six. Six is pretty good though. But I think I want like actually at least one guided strike. I do want as many of those kinds of effects as I can. Yeah. Over like the haste can't block plus. Just because like this is an, it's an instant sorcery, so it triggers a lot more things. It's a little better than playing hammer hand. I could just like I'm just like worried about a situation where I'm just doing like I just have all spells and no dudes. That's the only thing I'm worried about. So I kind of jump shoving their dude in here. Their duder. Um and it probably is Angel of Mercy. Kind of expensive, but it kind of does the same thing as Survival Cash in the sense it gave me life for the Archangel, but it's not a spell. But it does fly and it does like do things. Like if, it, if I were to cut this for the, it would be for Survival Cash. I think it's, it's actually the play here. Although like it is good, I have like Archangel too and it's just like amazing. Angel, I think I need to play like one. I don't know. Maybe I don't. Maybe I just like have a nuts deck right now. No, okay. Let's just let's just roll this. I just want to keep the curve. Like, it keeps the curve low. If I just don't play that. If I were to shove another creature in there, it'd probably be like the uh, Bonkin or like that's it. <laughs> like the Bonkin or maybe like. All right. It's color more white than red. Do that come. And seven, sure, why not? Save the deck. The deck. Prowess life thing. <laughs> I'll just it's more of a prowess deck with a life sub thing. Sort of a prowess deck. I have like three prowess guys. Play. I'm pretty happy about the, the way the deck came out though. I do have like a nice sideboard, sort of like a delicate cord sideboard sort of plan. Although I don't have like a ton of life gain. Only like two survival caches and a couple of life life linkers. What if I like it's another aggro deck. I definitely play like a different sort of game if I need to. Like more defensive with the more guided strikes, things like that. I'm gonna keep. Uh, it's got one of my better cards in my deck, so I'm gonna keep. <laughs> Mirror Angels, if someone leaves this like, you know, unchecked, it's, it, it kind of takes over the game. It's really good, actually. <laughs> it's actually like pretty amazing. I'll we'll get to 5. Or 990, not 900. I'm sorry, Nate. Watching. It also helps if I get land flooded for a Mirror Angel. Ooh, red, okay. Curve. I do have a really sick curve of like Gutter Snipe, Mirror Angel, and a Heat Ray. Whatever. Blue Red's got some stuff. I mean, Electrolyze is really good. Counter Self in general. I don't play it. Pop this gutter snipe. Oh, no mana leak. No mana leak. Killer, okay. Ooh. Three mana for drop. 
Pogo Mirror Angel blocks the Looser Angel all day. I probably just Heat Ray it, actually. It is big. It is quite big. Okay, I'll get my guy Heat Raid. It's okay, I have a Heat Raid for you, too. I too have a heat ray. Get that life link. Get my survival caches going. My opponent only has like two cards left, so I mean I just gotta protect this and just ride us to the victory. Okay, never mind. <laughs> yo say. Yo, yo, yo say. Drawing like a Genius today. It's really hard for the blue red deck to beat this. Ooh, Kiln Fiend. Like, the, the best card against, like, Claustrophobia or something like that. Or Grace with Kiln Fiend, I guess. But I have this word on Scape to really protect it, so. Two attacks. My opponent's also flooding. Like me, but luckily I have a bunch of six. Six drop on my deck. Hot me gin. Um. Well, I'm just gonna like power through the gin. I'm gonna save the rift bolt for um another random flyer that he has. It's not blue, maybe. Like maybe he plays like a furnace well. So, I want to save that for that. Oh, they have like a sign of Ugin. That's just really bad. <laughs> That's the worst case scenario. Alright. <laughs> well, I wanted to mulligan to five, but you know, I've, I've won on moles before. Okay, sideboard. Hold on. Oh. Photo? What's happening? Why is this happening? One. Sideboard. No? Why? Why? Why you happen? I can draw all the cards. Do I have to restart into you right now? Oh. oh, he disconnected. He disconnected while... while in the sideboard mode, so now I'm just stuck in limbo. Look at my hand, my hand wasn't great. Well, I'm stuck in limbo until he comes back. Yeah, I guess I'm stuck here, so, um, see, I'll cut this part out. No, I won't. It's, it's all one take, so i cut it out. Hopefully he comes back in a reasonable time. Because this is a weird part, because, like, no one, like, wastes time in this, in this sort of scenario. And if my, my opponent just, like, salty left, then I don't know what happens here. Actually, I've never experienced a situation where they disconnected during sideboarding. Like, do I just win here, or like, wait, wait, twenty three minutes? Maybe I should restart in GO. I don't know. I don't know how this works. I really don't. Oh yeah. yeah. 
I may know. Okay, I will stop this right before. Oh wait, it's at a one. The heck? Okay, wait, it's at a one. <laughs> well, that was weird. After a long, long wait, but now the league is paused for something for some reason. I won't get one. Yay! Maybe the maybe this will continue. But so yeah. Anyways, um, like I was saying before, um, we went to sideboarding. And like, or we were about to go to sideboarding, my pump disconnected. And then I think at the same time, like, all the, all the MTGO servers, like, went bleh. So after a bunch of disconnects, reconnects, I found myself into this chat room. And someone, someone posted a penis. Great. But, um, yeah, everyone else is having the same problem. So the video is on hold for now until this gets sorted. Alright, so these are finally fixed, so I guess I'll just soldier on and continue this. They don't want to. I don't want to stop. I think my deck's really good. It's good enough to record, so... <laughs> I'm just gonna soldier on. Hope that nothing happens. If anything, it's a fun lesson. <laughs> Why MTGO is so great. Regardless, I am still 1-0. That's all that matters. Uh, yeah, I'll keep. Removal spell. Dude. Pump spell. I, although, it's up to 2, so I, get, I think we can do 1. I think that's a good part about coordinated solid, because it says up to 2. It's just a quality program. We all know this. Love this. Yet we keep coming back. Maybe we're the dumb ones. Maybe we are the silly ones. Okay, like we're just going. Man, I've drawn so many lands. Maybe we should play six. No, I cannot play 16 lands in my six drop deck. I'd like to play a Tourney Voice, that'd be nice. I should probably play Tourney Voice. Oh, uh, Phantom Tiger is really annoying. It's just so hard to deal with. I don't have like Doom Blades and stuff like that. So I have to like slowly pick it down. Oh, okay, Millionaire Inch just flies over it. That's fine too. <laughs> Another Flood Mitigator. Phantom Tiger is really <laughs> the red white style deck. What the Wii? Come on. Ugh. It prevents the damage, so it just like he doesn't get a counter, but he gets a kill my aim. Okay. Uh I'll survival cash, see what I draw. Yeah, I'm going to attack here. I don't want to waste the life link. I'll just like coordinate assault my guy. I'll gain even more life. And it sets up for me like the heat rated thing next turn. Break, I'm going to gain 5. Wait, damage is prevented. Psych, I don't gain anything. Oh well, I don't. I, I keep my guy, and that's what that's what matters. And now, like when the survival cash comes back, I get um, I get more life. I'll get a re a prowess trigger. I won't draw a card though. He attacks. Wait, I will, I will gain a life. I'll we'll, we'll be at twenty. Yeah, okay, awesome. Another cash. Um, I could just like I think I'm gonna like, heat ray 
Yeah, Battle Rat. This guy. Battle Rattler. And then draw some more cards. Five. All right, this is good. this is looking good. Survival Cache, Seeker of the Way, pretty great. I have a Draconicor. Aggressive Attack, I like it. What seems he have is like a gigantic idiot. Oh, just a Dragon Egg. Big game. Draw two cards here. Ooh, Emergence Gate. Um, a lot of things I can do here. I'm gonna play the Gutter Snipe first, and then probably Draconic War. No, I'll just. I think I'm just gonna attack into the Dragon Egg, and then when he makes the Dragon, I'll just kill the Draconic Roar. Thirty. Kill this dragon. Gutter snipe's gonna happen. I'll play another seeker. Alright, that looks good. I have another rebound spell in Virgil's Gate. Dirkwood Bailoff, you got it. If you're gonna get aggressive, I'm just gonna like I'm gonna get real aggressive. <laughs> okay, uh Virgin Scape, one of my seekers. So many triggers. My name green here. And great teacher's decree. <laughs> my opponent's just dead here. Almost dead. Um, yeah, I'm just attacking everybody here, I think. Yeah, I'm just attacking everybody. Even if, if they trade here or whatever, I'll take that. Although, I guess tra putting the gutter type into play is not good. Yeah. I guess giving the gutter type is not really super good because, like, they just died in the upkeep. So, maybe I should have done that. Oh well. <laughs> Works out. Nothing really threatening there, except for the large creatures. So, maybe I'll mark immunities. Um... Actually, I could probably cut Rift Bolt for mark immunity. That's pretty funny against all the big green guys. I use strike and like the, the first strike is really good with like uh Bone Fiend. They can take down like a 5-5. Five five. But Rift Bolt's like a little slow. Same with Draconic Roar. It, it's kinda good and kinda not good. I think I'll keep it anyway. It is cheap. It's cheaper than the, the Rift Bolt. And it's an instant, so that. I wanna take I wanna do two marks. I'm gonna cut a survival cache. I think that'll work out. I guess the green fatty deck. Ooh, I like this. I'll keep. Right. Ooh, there's a Mark of Mutiny. Yeah, let's take that bail off. Comes around. And it's curving. I'll kill him to heat ray this thing. You'll say. Not there yet.
Ooh, Dark Steel Axe, pretty good. Pretty good for me. I mean, I'll take this. What is it? Five? I'll take five for now, but I'll, I'll definitely get it back later. Guy. Four. Okay, here we go. Whoever draws more rule spells will probably win this game. Although it's just going to be slamming threats into each other. Lotus Cobra? Ooh. It trades. It trades pretty well. Oh, no. Oh, God. All the mana is going to happen pretty soon. I can equip. Oh, Lightning Helix, my guy. Ugh, gross. Lightning Helix is a pretty strong card. <laughs> Alright, let's draw a threat. Draw some answers. The Durga Bale is coming down. It's really good bad because it comes down with haste. It comes off suspend. So it's going to cheat out something real quick in turn 5. Maybe it's another bail author or something. Flip, okay. The OC needs to come down pretty soon. turn. I'm, I'm getting hit for nine next turn. That's not good. Oh, this thing. Am I dead? Yeah, I'm just dead because the bail comes out. I can't do anything but the bail off. Jeez. Oh, all right. Those Cobra confirmed good. So maybe I want something to do against the Lowe's Cutter on the play here. So maybe Rift Bolt's kind of coming back in. Kind of mark. Yeah, that's it. Let's go. Try not get my guy killed. Turn two. What's Splash for the Lightning Heal? I think I saw like a Boros here, and a Celestia, and the um, the Lotus Cobra. So I must be splashing for that lightning healer. Very decidedly, right, Green. All right, it's a good hand. A lot of dudes, not a ton of spells, but you know, get right there. The deck's mostly half spells, half dudes. I think next turn I'll play the Falconer, they can like Falconer and then play another, or outlast this guy and then play another. Or deep in the tank. That's nothing. first. Really don't have any spells right now. Alright. Probably like Falconer. The next turn outlast the guy and then play like a gutter snipe. Depending on what I draw. I might want to seek if I draw like a spell. I mean even if the gutter snipe pretty good if I have a spell. I think just having a flying creature is pretty good against red green. Red Green doesn't really know for flying. Heat rate for two. Wow, okay. Uh yeah, so I'm gonna take the turn off here and guy drop his gutter snipe. Guess I'm just a little more mana efficient. Turn. It's 
a lot of lands. Hidden here with the Falconer. I just play the Seeker. Kind of pull up for a little bit. Hope to draw anything. Basically anything. Uh, Murder's Escape would be probably the best card to draw. Or like a removal spell. Well, that's... I would love to draw Coordinated Assault. That'd be like the best the best card. If you play like a two, like a, a three toughness creature for that. Like he's allowed to get aggressive here. I mean, I don't fault him for this because I'm not blocking. Why am I block? I blocked. What happens if I block here? No, I'm not gonna block. I might. My spells are like I have so many good top decks. See, <laughs> uh, do you see? Um, I think I'm attacking right into this guy. Yeah, I go all the guys, and then emergency gate whatever he blocks decides, to, or he doesn't even even decide to block. Red. That's pretty good. Setting up for a good turn next turn. Maybe play a land like it. I should have played a land there. I also went to a comfortable 18. That's an aggressive attack. Man, he must have like a wrath effect or something. Like an anger of the gods. That'd be pretty. That's not even that good because the falconer is just right there. Dragon egg. Doesn't really help unless he kills my. That's not good enough. That's actually not good enough. If the gutter snipe hits him for two, and I name Pearl Red here. Yeah, attack with a seeker, attack with my falconer. He died! Oh, wait, I have to actually do it. Man, the gunshot's pretty good. <laughs> Actually, emergency case is really good. It's just a stupid card. <laughs> oh, silly. That was a silly top deck. I was, I was in need of something there. All right. Can I get the 3-0? Get that to work, too. The deck is strong. I mean, the, the, the archetype is just super strong. Just two drop and it just spells. Better side's really good. I wish I had a second one. The Falconer did some work too. Just getting flying and just kind of getting over there. But that's just like uh, the red green just archetype in general. It's just kind of weak at the flyer. It's just that's any like that's almost any limited format. The cards like plummet and stuff like that exist. The green sh uh, the green shell. And, you know, Red does have a removal, but he, he seemed pretty light on that. I have to mulligan this hand. Unfortunately, I'm on, I'm on the draw. I can, I can, I'm just going to mulligan this. Mulligan is a pretty, oh, that's a good, this is a better hand. Mulligan is a pretty free, especially with the scry, so keep that on top. People, I think like Owen Turnall said, like people don't aggressively mulligan enough, and it's just like it's not like worth it to keep a, a seven a seven card like one lander. It's just like not worth it. What do you just scry? You have a scry one for the six. It's a bit of a slower hand, but. Dragon Bell's not bad. Ooh, like getting milled here. A little scary. I actually think mill is actually legit in this format. It was my first three O deck, and I think it's actually pretty legit. If you get a bunch of doorkeepers and street guys, the worst thing I could hit could hit is mountain. I mean, sir, oh cash. That's okay.
Like there's like Tome Scar. Tome Scar is a little slower, but still, I think like I think Mill is actually like kind of legitimate if you're on a doorkeeper plan. Out and gutter sign. Oh, that's pretty good. Both both exceptional cards right now. Mountain I need gutter sign is good. Luckily, I have I'm just a bunch of emergence gates to protect my uh dragon dragon monk dragon bell monk. All right, the miller continues. Mirror Angel, no. What a blocked. I think so. He probably is missing a land drop. They're Shriek guys, jeez. Okay, a lot of planes. It's still pretty far away from like milling me out or dealing damage to me, so we're dealing with two damage. So the Dragon Bell could get there if I draw anything, really. I just need to draw like one mountain on Or any land would actually do. Or planes. Mountain courting to solve. Okay. You say like a land with every. Oh. Wow. Okay. I went all in on this thing. Okay, that will, you'll see it will come down. Hopefully it's not, oh, if I get mana leaked here, this will be the absolute worst. I stop blocking. Oh, I'm going to run right in this mana leak, but I have to. Just do it, man, just do it. Okay, he didn't do it. <laughs> Claustrophobia. Ojitai's breath. Mother Trucker. <laughs> okay, this is a real clock. It's a real, it's a real thing because I'm actually dead in three turns. This doesn't untap, and then like the Ojai Express gonna come back, and ooh, it's real. And he gets to see my whole deck. You see how good my deck is. Just have such bad draws. We had to make something happen here. Yeah, I got, I think I start putting some more pressure. I got like I gotta put a little more damage on my opponent. So, I'm going to go chase breath with Yose again. I get to protect it. So this will put my opponent to two. If I draw a mountain, I can kind of win. So, this will untap. They'll both get pro blue if we try to block. And then if I draw a mountain, I think I can just win. Maybe he doesn't have a counter spell. <laughs> Or a removal spells for any of my creatures. <laughs> awesome. If he just like tome scars me three times, I'll be really bad. Like just triple tome scour, just do it. I guess I get to look at my deck too. Charmbreaker Devils. Okay. 
I need to draw a mountain. How many mountains do I have left? Six. I have one more mountain in my deck. Big. A mountain or any like white spell. I have like I have a lot of white spells. Like Great Jesus Decree would be really good. I'll name just like Ooh yeah. Perfect. I did it! I literally had one mountain to cast. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Oh, that last mountain. I'm pretty sure I had seven mountains in my deck, right? Yeah, I had seven mountains. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Alright, that was close. That was actually really close. Alright, so the mill deck. Triple, the triple Shriek guys deck. Geez. I'm gonna get more aggressive with the Guided Strikes, so I think I'll play another Guided Strike, cut out Survival Cash. I think the life is about where I'm, what I'm about right now. I'll just do that. I can also play Hammer Hands, but I try to lower my curve a bit. Ooh, I like this hand. This hand's pretty good. I mean, on the upside for my opponent, he got to see my entire deck. Alright, I'm just gonna run this right into a mana leak. I don't have a choice. Ooh, no mana leak. Frost links, that's pretty good. I'd like to draw a creature here. I don't want to burn my Strava Cash right now. The core is okay. I'll just wait. Try to like chant this thing or pump it or something. I can just fill it with a roar. Mass them component. I'm all about him attacking right now. Okay, somebody need to attack, so I'm trying to kill this. Actually, I can wait till my turn, kill this and guide and strike. I, I think let's do that. I want to get all the triggers. I really actually want to play the Kiln Fiend. Yeah, I think I want to play the second Kiln Fiend. Maybe uh, go a little wider here. I will just wait. Guy Strike is better when I can just take out a creature. I don't need to go all in yet. Dagger Shock, that's pretty good. Dagger Shock's pretty good. I'm gonna take out my other guy. So I guess I'll just do this now. Maybe we can draw like Emergence Gate. Nope. I think I will just do this now. Uh, draw more cards. Okay. I think I'm going to put an 8. And then Mirror Angel can just kind of like... Mirror Angel of Great Teacher's Decree should be enough. Should be enough. Yeah, my opponent didn't get the triple Shriek Rice hand this time. Looking a lot different. Looking way more manageable. Egg. Looks like a dissolve here. This looks like a dissolve. A 
for. Fortunately, I have to use both my white swords to get dissolved. <sighs> yeah, maybe I should have just played the Falconer out. The Falconer is just threatening on its own, too. If I, like, if I knew it was happening, why didn't I run my best spell into it? That's just. Why did I have to do that? Okay. Assassin components. The draw. I'm just play street guys. Okay. Plants initiated. Heat ray it. Super threatening though. I think it outlasts us the same turn. And the tap ability. I'm not going to heat ray this thing. I'm not like super threatening yet. I might heat ray like a charm breaker devils or him. Tempo plays. It sucks because I can't outlast my guy now because I have to tap him to outlast. I like my opponent's deck. Very tricksy. A lot of good mills and a lot of bad mills. Yeah, it's a good mill. Draw spells from here on out. Okay, so okay, maybe I have to kill one of these. I think I have to kill one of them. So. It's so sad. I have to heat rate for one, this thing. Have a race, you know. My library versus like his life total is kind of the race. If I don't have anything, I'm definitely gonna. Okay. I hit a mountain guide to strike, that's okay. Oh my god, this guy! <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Tempo plays. Oh. Roland Marauder? Okay. We'll have to do. We get to block one of these things. But he can't really I don't think he can attack into that. He could. He's going to, probably. Yeah. Alt him. Dragon Ball Mondo, we're, uh, we're done. Killer. Sure. Should have done that pre combat, but hindsight's 2020. Ow, oh, this guy could kill me here. I'm not, okay, I'm not dead. I could definitely just like outlast this thing. Yeah, outlast great teachers. I have to draw a good card next turn and not get it milled away. If he doesn't attack, then that's the best his best line is not attacking. Cause then he can like protect it with like blue and red. Like it's totally blue and red, but yeah, he's just going in. Yose and Seeker. Damn, those are good cards. Okay, that's good. That's good for Ryan. Ooh, okay. Good Rift Bolt, the Dragon. Try to get in there. Do I have enough mana for all this? Eight mana? Oh, exactly eight. Okay. Alright, so. 
Rift Bolt the Dragon. Merge on Skate Creature Disagree. Okay, I got it. Are they the dragon? I'm not worried about milling because I'm trying to kill him in two turns. So blue. All right, decree. It's going all in here. He has to draw a good card next turn. He basically needs to draw like a god like he's been doing before. Like another frost needs to be like insane. <laughs> okay. Alright, it's up to the gods now. Top deck gods. Who are you with? Are you with me? Or are you with this guy? This is my account. The best, the best thing you can have is another a red flyer, I think, or a removal spell, I guess. A heat ray would be like a heat ray would be really good. Uh, I think Mizzy Mortis is instead. I'm not sure. Okay, he's going in. Sign of Ugin would be really good too. Can't really do anything about this. Double planes, planes, coordinate assault, fine. This passes. Uh, is this Ojitai's breath? Oh, he's Ojitai's breath, doesn't he? That's such a good card right now. <laughs> oh, that's such a sick card. Uh, he drew a good card. Well, it's not over yet. It's almost over, actually. <laughs> if I can untap my guy somehow. Such a sick draw. Oh, I was like, I was like thinking about what are the good draws I have. Archangel Thune. That's like the sickest draw. <laughs> it's a lifer. It's a lifelink flyer. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Let's let's get right back in here. All right. Top deck for top deck. Oh, he has a rebound spell. He could rebound on the archangel. Like, I can go to two cards, but like. The fact they did it on my upkeep is like the sickest. Oh, I don't know. What to, oh man, I forgot about that. Bad. I don't think I have any more spells in my deck. Kill them. Might be bad to just like let him hit me more and more. What do you draw? Scourge of Valkus. <laughs> This is like trading blows for blows here. Oh, that's sad. Yeah, that was sick top deck. That was sick. All right, all right. Top deck gods are on his side. I kind of want to play guard duty. <laughs> I gotta stop these freaking one ones. I kind of want to play guard duty. <laughs> I just. I don't, I don't know, man. Just. Ugh. He just basically just top decked on me. I mean, I don't feel super bad about it, but. And that was hella annoying. Uh... <laughs> well, I'm gonna use a restroom. <laughs> Wait, maybe I play Starward Aven. Actually, maybe I play the Aven over like the Survival Cache. Yeah. It's a 1 3. I think a Block Flyers. I'm right, gonna do that, but I'm gonna use the restroom real quick. We'll come back for a second.
All right, here comes the decider. Yeah, I, was, I like this. Lo another all dude hand. It worked out last time. Oh, it's was red green. It worked out anyway. It worked out regardless. I think with this hand, if I don't draw a spell here, I'll, I'll start with Borderland Marauder. It just does more damage. Yeah, so go with Marauder. Probably Marauder and the Falconer. I want to block those freaking 1-1s one as soon as I can. No, I'm sure. Okay, now that I have drawn Dracanicor, maybe I want to play like Seeker or Gutter Snipe. No, I think I want the Falconer. I want to do this quickly. I think it's best on turn three. Then next turn I can like outlast and play a seeker if I don't draw a land or a gutter snipe. But I'm trying to like frost links me or something or amass. You could just amass some components. Yeah, frost. He has like three in his deck. His deck's, his deck's nuts. I'm slamming a mirror angel here. He had a few spells, I think I could actually deal with it. He had a heat ray. I think he just had like one heat ray. Never blocking that in a million. I know your tricks. Maybe, I don't know. I actually don't know this trick. Ask some components. What did he have there? Maybe he had like a coordinated assault or diminish? Maybe he had like diminish. I'm just curious about what he actually had there. He's holding up one blue. That's why I'm thinking diminish. Always yes. I want to see the situation where I wouldn't want to put a land into play. Or I wouldn't want to put a, I wouldn't want to put a bird into play. I don't think he has like diminish. It makes a creature a 1-1 one, one, with no ability or something like that. I'm going to outlast this guy. And then I'm going to attack with a bunch of guys. I'm probably playing the Gutter Snipe. No, I'm probably playing Seeker. I'm um, playing gutter snipe actually. <laughs> I think it just puts on the most damage. If I have to kill something. Stagger shock, okay. It's stagger shock, maybe that was it. Maybe it's just like stagger shock. A very impressive air force here. So if it does have Dissolve, I kill him? Yeah, just make him have it. If it doesn't Dissolve as he dies. Pretty sure. 3, 6, 7, and Actually, he stays at 1. Okay. I could have last my guy again, but I'd rather just put him at a really low life total. There's the four here. The seeker next turn I can just attack with everybody. Great, great teacher's creed be the best. Oh, I get the rebound trigger. Ah, maybe I should have played the Seeker. Because he could take out. Yeah, he could just take out. Well, I mean, it's not the Borland Marauder. I mean, like, yeah. That's it. That's what I'm talking about. Woo! Woo! That was a. That was an impressive deck. <laughs> yeah, he had all red sources. He's, it looked like he had double red. Just a bunch of, bunch of stuff. A bunch of stuff. This deck was sick. Actually, he got like really lucky with some like bombs. 
like Archangel. Amiri Angel is just nuts. I think the card is so good. Like it's easy slam first pick. It's hard to beat in certain decks. Um, but no, this deck was this deck was sick. <laughs> it's 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 very aggressive. It was very like um, resilient. Survival Cash was actually like way cool with like Kiln Veen or Seeker. And I think like I didn't play Angelica Chord. I didn't get to like run that, but the card's like really good when you can play when you can build around it. But that's a different deck for a different day. But thanks guys for watching. Uh, really appreciate it, and I'll see you next time.